you breakfast, fresh coffee and bagels too. A new day is waiting for us. We got lots of fun stuff to do. Let's go to the zoo and feed the monkeys. I can lend them your baseball cap. Let's make the day a very lot of fun. Growing up is just a trap. Just a bit fat trail. I take pride in ever working a day. Can't see the use of it anyway. Who can think I'm such a lord of crap? Growing up is just a trail. has been just a typical day. It's Wednesday and we got up. Paul woke up around 7. I came downstairs and made him his banana egg pancakes. I've made that all the time. I'll leave the recipe below. It's an egg banana. I add oatmeal, flax, hemp seeds, all that good stuff to it to kind of fiber it up and he loves it. So he had that for breakfast. I had that for breakfast. I just put some butter and maple syrup on it. It's delicious. I had a coffee. And then we went upstairs and got changed. I did my yoga routine. I've been trying to do yoga every day. I don't want to say New Year's resolution, but I started doing it in 2021 and I've kind of been sticking to it. Not all the time. I don't pressure myself. I do it not so much for the exercise, but for my own. It helps me calm down. It helps my anxiety. And I just enjoy like the stretching of yoga. So we did that. Now we're down here and we're at snack time. He's gonna have snack time, and while he's having his snack, I'm going to start with my next zoning. There's a system called the Fly Lady system, and she basically has this brilliant concept of taking your house, dividing it into zones, and then instead of doing spring and or fall cleaning a couple times a year where you clean your entire house, you chunk that up and clean little parts of your house throughout the year. So that just totally made sense to me, especially with a little guy. So what I've been doing is I overzoned my house. Like her zoning was like, maybe your first level has like two zones. I literally have zoned every single room just because that's all I can handle with my own sanity and this little munchkin. Pretty much every room in my house is a zone. I like this. Sometimes the cleaning only takes like two minutes. Perfect, it works for me. So I've been starting from the top down. In January, I did dusting ceiling, ceiling fans, cobwebs around the top. I just finished doing all the walls. I didn't actually wash the walls. I just spot cleaned them with a magic eraser. And as I was going through, I intended to do doors, but realized that they were really dusty and needed a cleaning. So I was just walking around with the magic eraser. So I thought that would be my next thing. So that is what I'm doing now. I'm going to, our all our doors are wood doors and they have like these notches 
carved in, I guess, and there's dust. So I'm going to dust them and then just clean them with an all-purpose cleaner. And my all-purpose cleaner is just water, dish soap, and a couple of drops of essential oils. That's it. And I'm going to make my way throughout the whole house. My first zone was my, I guess, technically formal living room. We call it reading room. It's my room. Matt has the whole detached garage, so that is my room. And I got to get the couches that I wanted when we had more income. And all my books are in there and I used to sit there and read. I do sit there on the weekends when Matt does nap duty and I sit there and read, it's quite lovely. That was my zone A and there's no doors in there. So that was easy, check. So my second zone is the kitchen area. So I have this door here to the laundry room, the laundry room to the garage, and then my pantry doors. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean those while he has a snack. I'm gonna have some hot tea and I think an apple. And then it's gonna be nap time. I'm doing his nap. He's right here. I'm doing his app nap just a smidge early because I have therapy at two. So if I get him down at 11, 11.30, we should be totally good to go, I'm hoping. Also today is Wednesday, so it's another impossibly easy night. Tonight I'm going to make up my own recipe and I'm going to do Philly cheesesteaks. I got some steak at the grocery store last week, I think, on sale. So I'm going to cut up a bunch of peppers, onions, the steakums. I'm gonna use mozzarella cheese. Provolone would be more delicious, but I don't have any. Also, I'm gonna use this opportunity to, I have a whole bag of these little peppers. Hold on, somebody wants to say hi. Can you say hi? Who's that? How long is your toy gonna to go on? Yeah. You say hi. Hi. So anyway, I have a bunch of little sweet peppers that I got from Misfit two weeks ago. I'm gonna cut them all up. We're gonna use some tonight in tonight's meal. And then I'm gonna make tacos and I'll probably just put it right in the taco meat. And then if there's any extra that I think are gonna be extra, I'm just gonna freeze them for something else. My Misfit produce should be coming today. Naturally, it will come during nap time and Mo will go ballistic. So I'm gonna have to like cover all the windows and hope Mo doesn't hear the delivery truck. You say hi. I was supposed to keep making the cakes for this weekend, but with therapy and just everything going on, I'm going to just move that to tomorrow. So Thursday and Friday, then I have to make cakes every day, which is not a big deal. Also, it's supposed to be like 65 degrees today, so we are going for a long walk. So we were doing snack, nap, <coughs> therapy, lunch, walk. <coughs> home from a walk it's absolutely gorgeous outside it's like 65 sunny it's such a preview of spring and there's like still mounds of snow all over the place should have finished eating before I did that my misfit produce box was supposed to be delivered yesterday I got a note saying it was being delayed no problem it's supposed to be delivered today it usually comes in the morning it's not here yet so <sighs> this happened to me before Thanksgiving and in their defense there was a storm and it was like over a week late and like half the stuff was all damaged the cardboard box is like barely held together hopefully that doesn't happen again i have one lone orange for fruit i think i have like two cucumbers and two heads of lettuce that's all i have for fresh produce besides the peppers that i'm using today stay up late at night in a room lit by the tv light all i want is to get some shut eye But my thoughts are keeping me awake I don't know what it is But it's been like this Ever since we kissed I don't know what to do since 